Hi ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. My name is Glenn, I'm a qualified mortgage broker and a property investor. If it's your first time on the channel, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. Now this is episode three, old house to new house. And in today's video, we're gonna go through the inside of the property, how we stripped it right back and some of the things that we found. Keep watching to the end of the video and we'll let you know some of the hidden costs that we found that aren't even seen. Okay, so here we are. We can see here the destruction has started in this. Garage has now pretty much disappeared. And this was the building that was on, or the side of the building that was on the very low foundations. Don't underestimate family as well. The amount of help that man there, my dad helped was amazing. That was the footings which wasn't sufficient. And as you can see, the destruction starts. Diggers, very handy. Make sure you've got one or two. And here you can see as we started ripping out, so we've got no stairs. This is the landing. The work started. There was a stud wall put up there. If you remember in the previous video, that wall to the left was actually further along and this room has now actually got an ensuite. So there wasn't an ensuite there. We've now taken a bit of the double bathroom. So this is the ensuite. This is new, freshly plastered. And as you go left here, this is where there was the avocado and the pink bathroom. So we've taken a bit of that double bathroom, still got a family bathroom and added an ensuite, which is good. Again, this is the bedroom at the back. You can see the lantern starting to be built, which is on the extension there. And there used to be a bedroom. Now it's gone. And that used to be some stairs. They have now gone. So we literally took everything out. This was designed so it was double height, so we could have a chandelier, there we go. And this is what it looks like now, which we showed in the previous video. And that was what it looked like then. It had a single or double panel window there. We designed it to have three panels, which you'll see further in, and you'll see in other videos as well. Them internal doors were removed completely because they were dangerous with the step at the front. And there you go, big oak double doors there. Chandelier, the three paneled windows, so it was symmetrical from the front. And this is the extension, so this didn't exist. So this right-hand side of the building was designed for us as adults, and then the left-hand side was for family and guests. So if we walk through now, this used to be the garage. So we had to have all the new footings done. You walk through here, you can see through all of the stud work and the timbers. This is the master bedroom. And that's the view. There'd be a glass Juliet balcony to go on that, obviously the garden still needed a lot of work at this point. There's the two troublesome trees that we'll go through later on. And there's the start of the lantern, the structure over the back extension. And this door on the left, if you can make it out, this is the master ensuite. So there'll be a pebble bath under the window that they put in there, a his and hers sink on the left and the right of that window. And as you pan round as well, there'll be a walk-in double shower on the right-hand side, which would go there, and then a toilet next to it. So in future videos, we'll be able to show you how that panned out. But as you can see, it was the real guts of the building. And this corridor here, you can walk through, and is a walk-in dressing room. So again, the windows are still going there. This will have wardrobes, dressing table, and then looking back. So it's really self-contained on the right-hand side of the house. 
There's a master bedroom, master ensuite, and walk in dressing room. Then you'll go through this door, turn right, downstairs on the left, over the other side of the house, is for the guests. Now, this is downstairs. As you can see, we have no stairs. We was using a ladder to get up. And that's that old front door which we removed completely. That's where the old stairs was. So we literally ripped everything out. It was just a shell. That was the old outside wall. As you can see above here, that's where there was a bedroom. So when you walk in, we really wanted the wow factor with the chandelier hanging. Christmas time picture there, but it gave you an idea of what it turned into. Now the double glass doors here, walking through, turn left into the lounge. There's a working open fireplace, which we had to repair, plastered in there. And also light is really, really key. Remember light. So there was no light in that section. So we put a big glass panel window in to let loads of light in. And that was one of the best things we've ever done. Uh, as you can see, the extension starting to come along here. And it's a lot of hidden things under that floor, which I'll come to in a minute. This was big five panel bifold doors that to go in and above it was the lantern. As you can see there, the structures just started to come about. And under this floor here, this is the trouble we had. So it was all block and beam built. That was the original structure. You can see where we came out, but we had to go down two and a half meters in footings. That was a lot more than we expected and a lot more money as well. In total, just in doing them footings, it cost us 12,000 pounds extra than what we thought. And the reason for that was that the trees in the garden, if a tree's got a preservation order on it, you need to make sure it's got, um, it, the build is within 10 meters, ours was nine and a half. Um, and so we had to have deeper footings. That was the old kitchen door, which we blocked in. This is now a big play area, cinema room area. And again, you look at all this now, but you didn't realize what actually went in to the groundwork. So it's all costs that you can't even see when you're in the building. Again, that was the structure of the old garage that we've completely took out. And that is now what that sits over. Real considerable change under the ground, ready for the safe structure to be built. That wall there, was the original back of the house. And in the first video, you'll see a little kitchen door. Uh, here, this is a utility room, which is still under construction, but it gives you an idea there. So all the white goods are hidden as well, which is a lot easier when you've got a young family, especially. And side access there, obviously we had to do 56 fence panels replaced because there weren't any as you see in the first video. This comes back out here, turn left, there's the main hall entrance and here is a downstairs bathroom. Believe it or not, that's what we turned it into. It took us a long time to get to that stage and vision. And then you turn right and then that is the garage as well. It looks a bit different to that now. In the next video, you're gonna see some of the real structural changes and how we started to make the property develop into the property it is today. Again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.